What can you do to your reels to give you more casting distance throughout any day fishing? Good morning, guys and girls. Good morning. January 19, we're going to be looking at Psalm, Psalm 18, 1. This is a short one, only got about seven words in it. And it says, I love you, Lord. You are my strength. You know, if we would just pray that prayer every day, God probably would reward us for that right there. If we just pray that prayer every single day, if we just tell God, I love you, Lord. You are my strength. I love you, Lord. You are my strength. Here's what I wrote about that. Tournament bass fishing is much more physical sport than most non-tournament fishermen realize. It is a tremendously draining physical sport. Uh, we're not running up and down a court. We're not tackling people. And uh, we're not doing a lot of things they're doing in sports that are thought of as being really physical. But let me tell you, it is a long, hard day out there, particularly practice days, daylight till dark and is extremely demanding from a physical standpoint. Most of us don't carry a front seat in our boat, so we have to stand constantly while fishing. You just go out there at daylight and stand up all day long and just see how you feel at the end of the day. A lot of you have jobs that you're on your feet for eight hours all day long or 10 or 12 hours all day long. You know how difficult that is. I don't eat anything, I don't drink anything during competition hours. In other words, I don't even take a drink of water or eat a cookie or anything during competition hours. Uh, I'm not a big breakfast eater, so I normally don't eat anything until in the evening on tournament days. Tournaments also usually allow very little time for sleep. In other words, we get up at usually four o'clock in the morning. By the time we get new line wind wound on and retie all our lures, get our boat back together, study our maps and <coughs> get ready for the next day. It's midnight or so and we get three or four hours sleep and we get up and do it again. So it's a very draining, very demanding physical sport. You need strength to endure. You need strength to endure. Whether or not you are a believer, your strength in every aspect of life comes from God. You hear what I'm saying? Whether you believe God, whether you've trusted Jesus to be your, your Savior or not, all the strength that you have comes from God. He has divinely made us to do almost miraculous things. No machine, no robot, or even the Energizer Bunny can keep going the way that we can. We are absolutely marvelously made by God. Nothing can keep up with humankind. Today, pay special attention to the physical abilities that God has given you to just keep going and going and going. Pay special attention to the physical abilities that God has given you to just keep going and going and going. Some people put in amazing days, day after day after day, making a living. After you look at this and you think about all the great physical abilities that God gave you and allowed you to do today, thank Him for it. Just tell God, thank you for giving me the strength to get through another day. Give Him your praise and give Him your love. We serve a mighty God and He's created in us mighty people. And, you know, people go through all kinds of physical situations and problems during their life. Uh, we've had through the wars we fought so many of our soldiers that have come back with with one leg gone or both legs gone and they still live remarkable lives uh, even though they've been damaged in war we've had all kinds of you know, all kinds of illnesses that causes people to lose limbs and stuff and yet they carry on remarkable lives I'm just uh, blown away by what people are able to do and the strength that God gives them here's our tip for today this is a really good one right here Spray reel magic on your reels two or three times each day to give you more casting distance. And all you need to do on that, here's a couple things. When you do, take that reel magic, spray it right down on your level wine, or if you've got a spinning reel or a casting reel, spray it right on the line. Doesn't hurt the line at all. It dries real quickly. Spray it right on the line. Spray it on your guides on your rod. Just a little quick spray down through there. If you'll do that a couple of times during the day, you'll develop more. You'll, you'll, you'll develop more casting distance. You'll be able to throw because your line's going to be slick. It's going to slide through those guides a lot quicker, and uh, so you can throw it. If, you, if you're making a cast, you'll make that cast a whole lot easier once you got that real magic on your line and on your guides or your rods. Guys and girls, go out there and have you a great one today. And remember, I sure do love you. 